Amigos de Broncos TV, nos encontramos con eh, Justin Lair, eh, serpentinero de los Broncos de Reynosa. Uh, Justin, first of all, thanks for, for your time. Uh, what can you tell us about uh, this season? What's, what's, uh, what's been good for you? What do you think you need to get a little bit better? Tell us about uh, this season here in Mexican League. Uh, well, so far I felt pretty strong. Um, I'm throwing more innings in my starts and feeling better, you know, with the pitch count. But uh, I think, you know, mostly learning the hitters that I don't know from the winter already. Uh, it's, I think I'm giving up a few too many runs, but a lot of times it's on guys I don't know who they are and their approach. Uh, about your repertoire, uh, do you think all of your pitching, all of your pitches have been uh, have been doing to the, have been doing right, or what do you think you need to get a little bit better? Yeah, uh, I think all my pitches have been pretty close to to where I want them. Um, if anything, I would like to kind of improve a little bit my fastball command. Um, you know, sometimes for this league, they're swinging very aggressively, and I'm throwing too many strikes in my fastball at times. You've been doing uh, quality outings on, on this on this past game, so uh, that uh, that makes you uh, one of the strong uh, pitchers on the on, on on the team right now. So, what can you tell us about old pitching in, in Reynosa? What do you think uh, might be a little bit better? What do you think uh, need to get a little bit better for for the you know for for the future? Uh, I you know get everybody healthy. Uh, that would definitely help. You know, get our bullpen back together. Um, And also, you know, for our starters, just to make sure that we're throwing our innings. Because uh, if we throw our innings, then, you know, the team will definitely have a chance to win if you get some runs. How do you see about uh, Zona Norte, you know, the North uh, division in, in Mexican League? Uh, how, how, do you, how do you see it? You, you, it's one of the, maybe some people think it's a, it's a stronger one, you know, it's uh, the strongest one. But uh, how do you see it? Uh, you know, I don't know how to measure it as far as strength, but I think the North division is very hard to pitch in. Uh, and you can look at that two ways. It's easy to hit in or it's hard to pitch in, depending on if you're a pitcher or a hitter. But, uh, you know, if we look at the teams, the batting averages are very high for all the teams. They have six, seven guys hitting right at 300, almost every lineup. So, I mean, that's that's high. And uh, so I think it makes a difference. On the batters, which batters have been uh, more difficult for to you? The the ones that you that that, that you remember, you, you might remember a little bit. Uh, which one has been difficult for you? Oh, Salcedo's the number one guy for me. Always has been. Um, he's kind of a low ball hitter, and I like to throw the ball down, so it runs into a swing. But uh, he's the only one that really sticks out to me, as far as someone I've known and played against for a number of years that uh, hits me pretty good. Uh, finally, Justin, what can you tell to the Reynosa fans? Uh, right now, you know, well, uh, well the, the team right now, it's, uh, it's on a little bit uh, upside downs, more downs than ups, uh, unfortunately. But uh, what can you tell them? What can you tell about this team uh, to believe on it? Uh, I think we expect to play better. Um, again, you know, we get our players healthy and we try and stay healthy. I think things will be okay. And um, I think we're all here to, you know, to play to make to the playoffs, and that's the goal. So, um, you know, they declare the champion at the end of the playoffs, not at the end of the regular season. So we need to work to put ourselves in position for the playoffs.